focus on making sure Argos doesn't get any more cryptids. I've done a system scan, and it looks like all of the missing entries fall into one of eight general geographic locales around the planet. Except you'll have to fight Cobra to assemble the giant weather satellite. These cryptids. Eight? Well, that's an odd... The eight beasts! The one from the fifth sun! Hot damn, this kid's mom is smoking. She must work out at whatever Cartoon Network exercise facilities for working moms they have in that place. Seriously, she puts Betty Rubble and Jane Jetson to shame. Although, Tila from He-Man would still be my choice of fictional ladies to slay cartoon dragons with. Argos must have figured out which eight cryptids are... Wait, 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 wait. How do you know about this, young man? I've, uh, done some studies. Huh. This doesn't make sense. My thoughts exactly. This is the Secret Saturdays, Beasts of the Fifth Sun. Another video game based on a Cartoon Network cartoon. My expectations for any video game based on a cartoon that was not made in the 70s or 80s is pretty low. If it doesn't feature G.I. Joe, the Herculoids, Thundercats, or Transor Z, I'm not terribly interested. But if you know what I'm talking about, this game would actually be pretty cool for your kids. Because the fact is, this game is fun and well-made, even if it is a copy of Bionic Commando. The whole thing actually reminds me of Johnny Quest meets the old school Bionic Commando. If you know what Johnny Quest is, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, YouTube. You're already there. Just search for it after watching this. It's not a direct clone of Bionic Commando, although it does have a lot of Bionic Commando elements. It seems like this whole game is a mishmash of numerous different platformers that have all been assembled to form the game based on the Secret Saturdays. It's a bit easy, but the game is definitely aimed at a younger audience. The main character is Eleven. He has some kind of special powers that allow him to take control of these monsters and use them in the game for various functions. I think they're called cryptids. I'll just call them monsters. That's one of the key elements in this game because you have to take control of those things to get through certain levels. The controls in here are pretty good. This is also on PlayStation 2, DS, and PSP. This is the Nintendo Wii version. You control your character using the thumbstick on the nunchuck, and you use the buttons on the Wii controller. Every now and then you have to point at the screen to control one of the monsters. It's like you select them, and then you can use them to do your dirty work and push blocks, fly from one spot to another, crawl walls. All in all, they've done a nice job. Occasionally, the controls get a little clumsy, especially when you're swinging. They're not nearly as responsive as they are in Bionic Commando. But this kid's 11. Give him some time. Nathan Rad Spencer from Bionic Commando is much older and more experienced. Totally cool! An Adaro! Hey! It's a Totsil Worm! It's like they just assembled letters randomly. I wonder if the producers filed copyrights for all those names. Here's an example of me using a monster, this thing which is a cross between a snork and a minoc, to launch itself out of the water and hit those other things. Time to celebrate and go to the bar. Oh wait, you can't. Guess you'll have to select an older monster to do that for you. Kid, I saw your mom at the bar. Space Ghost was hitting on her. Frequently, you'll have to jump on top of giant mushrooms to get where you need to go. Is there anything giant mushrooms can't do? Oh, by the way, not only can he swing from things, but he can also double jump in the air. Yet again, proving my theory that children are able to change the laws of physics. Not even Bionic Commando could double jump. The thing is that the Bionic Commando wouldn't truly believe that he could double jump. The magic and mysteries of the impossible are lost to a jaded older soldier like the Bionic Commando. He would just fail miserably in the movie Labyrinth. If you have kids who are into this series, or your nieces or nephews or whatever, this game is actually very well made and fun. I think it looks nice on the Wii. It's easy to pick up and play. In general, it's a fairly easy game compared to the old school side-scrollers. But what's cool about it is that it's clearly inspired heavily by the old school side-scrolling platformers. 
I just drowned him in lava. Not even believing in the magic of the impossible can save you from lava. Unless you're encased in dolomite. It's got your traditional lava level, snow level, interior cavern level. You've got to have one of those in a side-scroller. Lots of monsters to control and play as, and you're also able to play as the family members of whatever family this is. The Secret Saturdays, Beasts of the Fifth Sun. The Secret Saturdays, which may or may not air on Tuesdays. Or Thursdays. 